When it comes to flaying fish, having the right tool can make your job a lot easier and there are a lot of fillet knives out there that any fisherman can use to fillet a variety of fish. And uh, matter of fact, this old fillet knife here used to be my father's. This knife is uh, at least 50 years old. It has a great steel on it. It keeps a great edge uh, and it served its purpose rather well over the years. And I've cleaned lots of fish with this knife. Uh, but when it comes to flaying the different species of fish, uh, walleyes, perch, uh, panfish, trout, uh, pike, what have you, there's a lot of different types of knife that can make your job even easier and give you a nice finished product. And I'm going to share with you a couple things that I look for when selecting a fillet knife to clean fish. Now if I'm cleaning walleyes like I have here, I like a uh, kind of a standard knife like this, a uh, fairly flexible tip. Uh, that way I can do the delicate work of removing the cheek meat out of a walleye, going down the rib cage, sliding out the rib bones, removing the Y bones, if you will, as well as taking that fillet off the skin. Uh, you want, a, again, a flexible blade and a nice edge uh, that you can do that delicate work. Now, if I'm dealing with lots of perch, or a big mound of panfish, maybe an electric flay knife is the way you want to go. Or you can get through those heavy rib cage bones, you can cut through that uh, thick heavy skin a lot quicker. An electric flay knife by all means is a great way and a great tool to clean a pile of fish. Now if you're dealing with salmon species or wide body to fish, maybe it's big pike uh, or something like that, a long bladed knife really is your best tool because it allows you to go all the way through the fish from the back all the way to the belly and cleanly cut that fillet off all the way down to the tail. So having the right length of blade will make that job uh, much easier. If you're looking for just an all-around knife uh, that'll kind of do just about everything, a standard six and a half, seven inch blade knife like this a fine tip on it which allows you to do the delicate work around the rib cages or maybe removing the cheek meat but you want it to have some stiffness to it and you can see here uh, it has some flexibility but it's also stiff it also has a good backbone on it and it also has a really good edge so consider the tools that you have at your fingertips uh, when it comes to flaying fish and by choosing the right knife it will make filleting any species of fish much easier to do at the end of the day.